everything you do relates to physics. In soccer, the ball that you were using is going to be the system. The system is the object of interest that interacts with other forces which are part of the external world. Gravity is one of those forces which pushes the ball down and keeps it on the ground. The ground is also an external force which applies the force up on the ball. Newton's third law states that all forces come in pairs and two forces in a pair act on different objects. These forces are equal in strength and opposite in direction. The ball at rest applies a force down on the ground and the ground applies a force back up on the ball that is equal in strength and opposite in direction. Newton's first law applies to kicking a soccer ball because it remains at rest until it is kicked. And the kick acts as a force on the ball because an object at rest will stay at rest until an external force acts on the ball. Right now the ball is at rest and the net force acting on the ball is zero. Now the ball is being acted upon by an unbalanced force greater than zero, which is the force of the foot causing the ball to move. One of the most used concepts in soccer is the kick. The kick relies on forces, which is any push or pull. Forces have both magnitude and direction. The sound heard from a kick when playing soccer is produced through sound waves. A sound wave is a pressure oscillation that is transmitted through matter. The sound wave is heard by a kick transmitted through air and is vibrating source that produces regular vibrations or oscillations. When a ref blows a whistle during a game, sound is transmitted through matter allowing you to hear the sound of the whistle. The ball is at rest. After you kick the ball, the ball is in motion. Once the ball is in motion, you find the average velocity of the ball. You can find average velocity using the formula distance final minus distance initial over time final minus time initial or change in distance over change in time. The initial distance is 0 meters. The final distance is 2.64 meters. The final time is 2.8 seconds and the initial time is 0 seconds. Now plug all of your knowns into the formula to get V equals 2.64 minus 0 over 2.8 minus 0. Subtract the zeros and get V equals 2.64 over 2.8, which concludes to V equaling 0.942857.1429. And when rounding, V equals 0.94 meters per second. When a ball is moving, one can also find instantaneous velocity, which is the speed and direction of an object at a particular instant. When a soccer player is kicking the soccer ball across the field, Newton's second law can be applied. Newton's second law states that acceleration of an object is proportional to the net force and is inversely proportional to the mass of the object being accelerated. The acceleration of the ball is equal to the net forces of the ball divided by the mass of the ball. The net forces of the ball are gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared in the player's foot. Another term in physics involved in kicking the ball is work. Work is the transfer of energy that occurs when a force is applied through a distance and direction of an object's motion. Work is measured in joules. One joule of work is done when a force of one newton acts on a system of a displacement of one meter. Work and energy can be related through the work energy theorem, which states that when work is done on a system, the result is a change in the system's energy. Energy, on the other hand, is the ability of a system to produce a change in itself of the world around it. There are three types of energy. Potential energy occurs before work is done, and it means the object has potential for energy to occur. Kinetic energy is the energy associated with motion. Lastly, there is mechanical energy, which is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Power is also related to energy. Power is the rate at which energy is transformed. 
Power is the change in energy divided by the time required for the change. When the ball is at rest, it has potential energy. The player uses their foot to produce work on the ball. Kinetic energy occurs as the ball moves and the kinetic energy decreases as the ball slows down, which will decrease the power. You can find work using the formula work equals force times distance. The force is unknown and the distance is 2.4 meters. To find force, use the formula F equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 430 grams. The acceleration is unknown. To find acceleration, use the formula Distance equals velocity initial times time plus half acceleration times time squared. The distance equals 2.4 meters. The initial velocity is 0 meters per second. The time was 4.5 seconds. And acceleration is unknown. Now plug everything you know into the acceleration formula. 2.4 equals 0 times 4.5 times 1 half A times 4.5 squared. When you simplify the formula, it looks like 2.4 equals 0 plus 1 half times A times 20.25. Simplify even further to get 2.4 equals 0 plus 10.125a. Now divide by 10.125 on both sides to get a equaling 0 0.237037037, 037, which rounds up to a equaling 0.24 meters per second squared. Now use acceleration to find force. Force equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 430 grams and the acceleration is 0.24 meters per second. Plug it into the formula, you get F equals 430 grams times 0.24 meters per second. The force ends up being 103.2, which rounds to 103 newtons. Now use the force to find the work. Work equals force times distance, and if you plug in your force, which is 103, into the formula, multiply that by the distance, which is 2.4, you can find the work. Work equals 247.2 joules, which rounds to 250 joules. Soccer is very much a contact sport, and players often go head-to-head -head while fighting for the ball. When a moving player makes contact with a standing player, there is friction between them. When the soccer ball is kicked into the air, many physics terms can be applied. For example, when the ball is at its highest point, it has gravitational potential energy, which is the stored energy due to gravity. A projectile is an object shot through the air that has independent vertical and horizontal motions. Also, the object only travels through the air under the force of gravity after the initial thrust. The path of an object through space is called a trajectory. Freefall acceleration occurs when a projectile occurs because freefall acceleration is the acceleration of an object due only to the effect of gravity. A quantity that has both magnitude and direction is called a vector. Scalar, on the other hand, is a quantity that is just a number without any direction. Displacement is a vector because it has direction, whereas distance is a scalar quantity because it does not include direction. 
The player's displacement includes the player's distance running forward minus their distance running back. The total distance of the runners includes their distance running forward plus their distance running back. Impulse is the product of the average force on an object in the time interval over which it acts. Momentum is the product of the object's mass and the object's velocity. Momentum and impulse are related through the impulse momentum theory, which states that the impulse on an object is equal to the change in its momentum. When two players are racing for the ball, they work to gain momentum. The player that reaches the greater velocity will have the greater momentum. The change in momentum of the player on the way to get the ball equals impulse. When thinking of a soccer ball, you think of a black and white ball. The ball gets the colors of black and white because of the colors that the ball reflects and absorbs. Some of the pentagons on the soccer ball absorb every color of the spectrum and reflect none, which makes the pentagons appear black. The other pentagons reflect all colors and absorb none, which makes that part of the ball appear white. A player's jersey color is what allows players, fans, and coaches to know what players go with what team during the chaos of a game. Here, the player's shirt is green, which means it reflects green light and absorbs all the other colors of the spectrum. Green is one of the three primary colors. Primary colors can be mixed in pairs to form additional colors, which are yellow, pink, and cyan. Soccer is very much a contact sport, and players often go head-to-head -head while fighting for the ball. When a moving player makes contact with a standing player, there is friction between them. When the force increases between them, the max force of friction is exceeded, changing the static friction to kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is when the stationary object accelerates because the applied force exceeds the maximum static friction force. Kinetic energy and potential energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got that done. Yay!